Suki Chan's Exhibition Conscious explores perception, memory, our understanding of reality, and has a particular focus on dementia. What is consciousness? What part does memory play? And that's how the project began. I really like this idea of collapsing different kinds of spaces within one. So I'm trying to recreate a, like a, almost like a cinema space in the first gallery and then a care home space in the second gallery. And then in gallery 2B, it is someone's home. With memory, it's a juxtaposition between um, the lifespan of a human being with geological time. And there's nothing else in the world that I would want to do. I could not think of any job that I would rather have or have had other than flying. That first piece started me thinking about time and human lifespan. Throughout your life you're gaining memories and then towards the end of your life you start to forget things and things start to un unravel in a sense. So I went on this journey of understanding what it's like for people who are living with dementia, but also for people who are caring for people with dementia. It is difficult to explain. I think my difficulties have all been internal. I think I make them all up. And then Fog in My Head focuses in on a lady called Wendy Mitchell, who speaks very articulately of the dementia journey and I try and recreate that using a natural beehive. On a bad day, it's like a fog descends on the brain. My reality suddenly becomes a different reality. For me, the image of the natural beehive as this brain is a really powerful metaphor and it's quite central to the project. So I wanted to create something that was quite uplifting within Chinese culture. To serve tea to an elderly person is a sign of respect. I wanted to do that in a care home, to show my respect, but also to create a space where I could sit and listen. And then from that I had this audio recording, and then later on I had this idea of putting the voices inside crockery to recreate some of the tea parties that I organised in the care home. It's a really touching exhibition. Dementia in particular is something that everyone will live with or be touched by at some point, whether it's themselves or their family. What I'd like people to take away from this exhibition is to think about the future. What happens, you know, when we start to lose aspects of our own bodies or of our own minds? You know, how can we be supported in a way that enables us to continue to live in the way that we want?